Now you can rent all new releases or anything else for five days. Really? Yeah, so you can just enjoy it at your own pace. At other video stores, you only get one day on new releases. So you can't enjoy it because you're too worried about getting it back on time. And then you got to fly out the door in order to get to the video store before it closes. And the clock is ticking, the phone is ringing, the late fees are piling up so high. He's really into special effects. Only Hollywood Video has Star Wars The Phantom Menace for five days, so you can watch it again and again. Welcome to Hollywood, Hollywood Video. People on here that may not be old enough to remember video rental stores, so I'll explain them a little more. Before Netflix and Hulu, you could go to video rental stores and rent a physical copy of a movie to watch at home for a set period of time. So with that out of the way, let's talk about Hollywood Video. More guaranteed new releases at Hollywood Video. Hollywood Video was an idea conceived by Mark Waddles in 1984. Waddles had just finished college and was struggling financially. His parents gave him and his wife a VHS player so they could have cheap entertainment at home. Mark thought to himself, Surely there must be other people in the same shoes as me. This would be a great business. In 1985, ironically the same year Blockbuster opened up, Waddles borrowed money so he could open up a 500 square foot video rental store with 300 films in downtown Portland, Oregon. By 1988, when Waddles was 28, he opened up the first official Hollywood video store. This was a smart move on his part as the video rental industry was booming, bringing in revenues of about $9.8 billion annually. By the end of 1991, Hollywood video was bringing in around $5.1 million. A lot of this is supported by the fact that in this time, about 90% of American households owned a VHS player. In fact, movie studios at this time made about 45% of their annual revenue off video rentals. By 1993, Hollywood Video became a public company and had around 16 stores in Oregon, Washington, California, and Texas. In the 90s, Hollywood Video would see a slowdown because of the rise of Blockbuster. However, what really set them apart from Blockbuster was what they offered. Blockbuster wasn't just movies, it was candy, snacks, books, magazines, and even music. They had the whole one-stop shop thing going for them. Hollywood Video did offer candy and snacks, but mostly focused on video rentals. In 1997, Hollywood Video opened up 356 superstores, which brought them up to 907 stores across 42 states. 1998 would mark the year Hollywood Video opened their 1,000th store, and they were continuing to open an average of one store a day. By this point, Hollywood Video was focused on opening stores in smaller geographic areas. Hollywood Video was the target of a hostile takeover attempt by Blockbuster in late 2004, but it failed as a smaller chain, Movie Gallery, would buy Hollywood Video in early 2005 for $860 million causing Blockbuster to give up on their purchase plans. Hollywood Video would become a subsidiary for a movie gallery. However, Hollywood Video would announce in 2010 that they would be filing for bankruptcy in February and would close all their locations in 2010. The once major rival to Blockbuster was now gone. We'll say goodbye to Hollywood. The parent company of Hollywood Video is closing nearly all of its metro area stores after filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The do you guys want to go to Game Crazy? Yeah! yeah. Santa Claus! Hey, check this out! Come on! Get into Game Crazy located in select Hollywood video stores and find cool games like Pokemon, Sonic Unleashed, and Mario Kart. Kids, make sure your parents know which games you want for the holidays by filling out your wish list at GameCrazy.com. Oh, eggnog.
With the economy in the state that it's in, it's no surprise to anybody that more and more local businesses are closing. Some of those local businesses are Hollywood Video and Game Crazy. Uh, my name's Kevin. Uh, I've been with uh, Hollywood Video for about two and a half years. I am the store manager currently here at this Hollywood Video. Uh, we found out that we were closing about a week and a half ago. There's a lot of issues that I think Hollywood Video is closing. Competition around here with Blockbuster, Redbox, all the online stuff, the direct TV on purchase on your TV when you're at home, um, all that which took away our customers, gave us less revenue in the store, which then uh, basically wouldn't allow this company to pay for the rent here. My name is Nikki. I run the Game Crazy in Santa Clarita. Um, we just got announced a couple weeks ago that our store will be closing in the next six to eight weeks. I think the reason that a lot of these stores are closing are because of not only the economy, but you know these uh, rental online like Netflix, Redbox, and uh, Gamefly. How this is going to affect me losing my job is, yes, I have to go search for a new one, which with the economy is very hard to find a new one. After talking to the employees, I decided to ask a loyal customer his views on the closing. Hi, my name's Chris. Um, I'm a bit, I am a bit disappointed about Game Crazy closing down. This was my favorite place to go to because this place lets you have the freedom of playing games and using their account, using their accounts whenever you need to. Both stores have an estimated three to eight weeks before they close, and sales are already at 30% off, so make sure to visit these two stores before they close. For Cougar News, I'm Brandon Forbes.